Well, at last, it finally feels like springtime is here. And for me, springtime means one species, and that's tench. So I've got my tench rods out for the first time this year, and I've headed over to Barbara Lakes. And what a perfect morning it is this morning. The mist is rising off the lakes. It's flat calm. I've seen a few fish roll already, and I can't wait to get stuck into my first tench session. Barbara Lakes is a venue that I've fished on and off for probably the past 20 years and it's been very kind to me in the past for, for specimen tench, big bream, big pike and a handful of nice carp. But as I mentioned, it's all about the tench for me today. I found a lovely spot where I saw a few of those fish rolling this morning. The sun has now come up, the mist has cleared and it's feeling much warmer. I'm starting to get one or two line bites and for me I think it's probably time to reel a couple of rods in, fill the feeders up again and see if we can get our first bite. So many liners. We're in. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a shock. I just had a recast and um, pretty much took the bobbin out of my hand. But I think that shows the importance of recasting the feeders. I've been getting a few liners and I thought I'd just reel one of the rods in, fill the feeder up again and recast it. And I hadn't been on the bottom more than about 15, 20 seconds. And pretty much pulled round in my hand. He's doing his best to get in these reeds. Well, if I manage to land this one, that'll be my first tench this year. This is my first trip. And what a lovely morning to make your first trip. It's been absolutely beautiful this morning. I think being as it's my first tench of the year, I am just gonna pop it on the scales and see how big it is. It's not, it's not big by Barbara standards, but it's a lovely tench. I'm not gonna embarrass myself by guessing because I haven't seen a tench for a while, but let's have a look and see how big it is. So that's about 6'10", 6'11". So I'm pleased with that, that's a lovely start. Well, what a lovely welcome back to Barbara Lakes this is. My first bite this morning. And what a beautiful tench. Still frosty at night at the minute, so I'm um, always a little bit anxious to whether they're going to play ball or not. So that first bite is a real confidence booster and hopefully we'll get some more bites through the day as this, as this sun gets warmer and warmer. But I really do enjoy tench fishing. Well, I better get this one slipped back. I'm going to get that rod recast back on the spot and probably drop a couple more spawns out and see if we can catch ourselves another one.
I think it's really important to keep trickling bait over the top of your spot. It's probably best compared to when you go float fishing. If you turned up for a day's float fishing with two pints of maggots, you wouldn't just throw two pints of maggots around the float. You'd get a pinch of maggots every cast and keep little and often feeding to draw the fish into the swim. And that's exactly what I do with the spawn. Every hour, hour and a half, I'll get out of my chair and I'll drop four or five spawns over the top of the spot. That's exactly what I've just done. I'm probably going to put one more spawn out in a minute and that'll be enough. And what I use as bait I feel is quite important as well. I like to use lots of smaller food items for tench, such as micro pellets, hemp seed, maggots and casters. The reason for this, I feel the tench absolutely love it and it keeps them feeding for longer. You don't want to fill the tench up too quick. The longer you can keep them searching for food and grubbing around on the spot, the better the chances of them picking up your hook bait. So I'm gonna get this last one out and it's probably time just to rest the swim a bit. Halfway through refreshing the rods, it pays to keep recasting the feeders. And the fishing's gone a little bit slow this afternoon, so before I recast this third rod, I'm going to take five minutes just to talk you through the rig that I'm using. I'd say this particular tench rig covers probably 90% of my gravel pit tench fishing. To start off with, I really like these flat inline maggot feeders. The reason I like them is they carry quite a lot of bait. And with the flat shape to them, when I'm fishing on the side of gravel bars and on the top of bars, they sit in position without rolling out of place. And on these pits, I fish them onto a leader. This is a 30 pound leadless lead core. Two things that are very important with this rig is one, the swivel on the end of the leader must pull out the feeder nice and easy. And the other thing is the feeder must slide off the end of the leader in case you were to snap your line. Attached to that quick change swivel, I have a very short fluorocarbon hook link. And that does a couple of jobs really. The fluorocarbon is quite stiff, so it doesn't tangle. And the other reason I like it to be quite stiff is, believe it or not, I have had with soft braided hook links, using live maggots on the hook, the maggots will crawl back in the holes and get inside the feeder. So that stops the maggots from crawling back to the feeder. The hook itself, I've got a size 12 hook, and that's fished on a maggot liner. So I've got a fake maggot there, just to give me a nice angle, a bit like a carp angler would with his shrink tubing. And then I hook three or four maggots on a size 12 hook. And believe it or not, I seem to get more takes if I use a brightly colored maggot for a maggot liner rather than just a, a red maggot. So that's basically the rig that I use for nearly all this type of fishing. And I better get this one filled back up and cast it back on the spot. very quiet this afternoon if I'm honest but that's not through the lack of trying. I've been recasting the feeders quite regularly and dropping a few spawns over the top every hour or two but it just hasn't happened. But I'm still hopeful because for me dawn is often the best time when tench fishing so fingers crossed first thing in the morning we'll get a few bites before we have to pack up and go home.
despite this very frosty start this morning, I've already been rudely awoken just before it got light by this beautiful tench. And what a brilliant start to the day. It's supposed to get quite windy later and the sun's supposed to shine, so fingers crossed that brings the tench on the feed. I've already recast all the rods and probably put seven or eight spawns over the top of the spot, so it's just a bit of a waiting game now. And like I mentioned, fingers crossed a few more tench feed when it warms up a bit. Well, at last, the, the bite has took a lot longer than it should have done. The, the mist has burnt off and the wind's picked up and conditions didn't feel good at all, to be honest. It's cold, it's a northerly wind. And I was starting to lose faith a little bit. But we're in and I'm pretty sure it's a tench. Scrapper. Come on, Savia. Well, I can't explain how pleased I was when that right hand rod just ripped off, and boy, did it rip off. And at last, we've got another tench on the bank. Conditions are far from perfect. We've got strong northerly winds. I've got my coat back on. And it doesn't so much feel like the springtime anymore, but this certainly boosts my confidence. And quite often, when you get one bite on these big pits, you're not far away from another bite. So I'm gonna get this one slipped back, get the feeder back on the spot, and see if there's any other tench to be had. Off you go, buddy. Well, that's absolutely typical. The, the fishing had been slow for a couple of hours, so Chris took the opportunity to have a walk around the lake and try and film some B-roll. And well, you've guessed it. It's not that I've caught a tench, I've caught two tench. I've pretty much had a double take. But the main thing is, they're both safely in the net. They both look quite nice fish. So I think we'll get them on the map and we'll have a look at them. I've just got those two tench in the net together and Chris has walked back in the swim and the other one's gone off, so. Quite often they can turn up in mass. You can go ages without a fish, and then you get a shoulder tench turn up. So we waited several hours for this, so I'm over the moon that they've turned up. Might have a little bit of fun getting this in the net with the other ones in there, but I'm sure we'll manage. Well, this is gonna be fun. There's two in the net and here comes number three, but I think if I'm careful, I can just slip him over the cord like that. Well triple take we've got now. This is more like it. Well I now have no rods in the water but I have three tench in the net and that third one I can see he's quite a bit smaller than the other two so I'm gonna get this little fella and pop him straight back. Lovely looking tench but I think I'm a bit more interested in those other two. So I'll slide that one straight back and we'll get these two on the mat. Well how about that that's the that's the bigger two out of those three tench I had in the net all together. And two lovely tench, two very different looking tench. The dark one at the top was a male tench and the one at the bottom was a female tench. I have quickly weighed the top one and it's a smidgen over seven pound. I don't think the other one's much smaller, but 
I'm very, very pleased with these, but I currently have no rods in the water and the tension obviously back on the feed. So I'm gonna slip these two back, get the rods back out, a couple more spawns, see if we can get a few more. Well, that's two rods cast back on the spot and I've put a few spawns over the top to try and liven the swim up. But this third rod, I've got a change of plan for this rod. In about the last 20 minutes, I've seen two tents show to my left. And there's a spot to my left that I've caught a few fish off in the past. So I'm gonna get this feeder filled up and I'm gonna chuck it on that spot and see if that produces any bites. But before I do that, I've got one little tip with these short fluorocarbon hook links. With regular casting and a few fish, they can get a little bit misshapen. So every now and again, I'll get my puller tool and simply just give them a good stretch. And what this does, it just makes them nice and straight and make sure that it kicks your bait away from the feeder. left hand rod has suddenly become the best rod out of the three it's several several bites in a row now it's feeling more like tench fishing now the sun on my back and this wind has dropped this is much more like it go another really nice tench well there we go I might have got off to a slow start on this session with those cold northerly winds sort of slowing the action up but it's all come good in the end I've had several nice tench now and thoroughly enjoyed it I think I better make this the last fish and I better think about getting home but one last thing, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go over to our YouTube channel and click the subscribe button on ADTV. And another thing, if there's any species you'd like to see me fish for in my specimen series, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to try and catch some.